So in the design of my subway system, I took inspiration from a series of videos put out by Bob. Uh, you could search for these Bob's tutorial videos. They're very helpful for the basics. Uh, I'm going to run through a couple details on switches, and then I'm going to go into more detailed logic gates, and then show how they can be applied into Minecraft stations. So, let's begin. Let's take a look at these switches and see how they function real quickly. A button, when you activate, will turn a, a, a circuit on for a brief period of time, and it will reset. A pressure plate, whether wood or stone, will do the same thing. That is important for a automated system. Now you can also put a torch directly on these blocks or offset by a, uh, uh, a circuit and get an off signal to invert those. That's a great way to avoid having to use a not gate. These buttons can also be activated from the line below. Same thing with a pressure plate. And the track can be activated from below by using a torch to power it. So the basis of saving a signal for later use is an RSNOR latch. It'll allow you to save input and reset at your leisure. Uh, these are a few designs that I copied from Minecraft Wiki. Uh, if you look at the redstone circuit area, and I like to use this one right here, D. Uh, it is very compact, it is easy to implement, and it's easy to layer uh, so that you can save space. Let me build you an example real quick so you can see the RS and OR switch and how is easy it is to implement. You put two blocks at a diagonal, two torches on the interfaces, and then on each side you put three redstone. That is a complete circuit. Here you might have input. Here you might have either output and or a reset. So it's on already, and now it's off. It's on, and now it's off. Alright, Mr. Peg here is going to help me demonstrate. This is a booster track set up with a simple loop and an on-off switch to send the pig around. Fun ride, huh? Here's another example where I take an RS and OR latch and I have an input signal. The RS and OR latch is reset by this wooden pressure plate with a line coming out. I could alternatively press this one, but it's not needed, so I'll take it off. And so the pig will stay in the holding area, but the empty cart will be sent around, reset itself, and then come back around. So that way one action of that will send the cart around once. Once again, one action, send the cart around. So on arriving I use an on-off relay to activate uh, and collect an empty cart when a, a stone pressure plate is released. So in this diagram I show the circuit that I use. It really consists of a signal uh, which is delayed for on and off that gives a pulse and that pulse is captured by an RS NOR latch. Here I have a different uh, circuit set up. It's an on off relay on this side and that's an RS NOR latch that'll output signal to a turn in a track and be reset by a pressure plate here. The input for the circuit activation is on this stone pressure plate. So when I step off of the stone pressure plate, that torch blinks. That torch blinks and is caught by my RS and OR latch and will be reset when I hit my reset switch. This changes the state of this track. So once again, I'll step on my plate. When I step off, the track changes, then I can reset. I use this on my incoming stations. So in another setup, I have my on-off relay here, captured by a RS-NOR latch right here. 
And that communicates with a reset switch, once again, after the card exits the booster area, it hits a reset switch to reset the state of this, uh, this latch here. And it's all activated based on input from this pressure plate. It's when a, pre a player might say, come into a, a station on a cart, stop on the pressure plate, and when they get out, it'll activate and send around a booster to collect this empty cart. So this torch here, as my output, will blink when I get out. Send the booster cart around. And then that's it. So I'll get in. And when I get out, it'll send the booster cart around, reset itself, and then come back in. Okay, so here's the final area where I'll demonstrate a cart magazine, uh, aka dispenser. So this is something that I saw on a video on YouTube, which was very interesting. Basically, what I have set out here is my booster loop with a secondary loop controlled by a switch. And so when I press that switch, it'll boost that card out and around, and it'll go back to the booster holding area. The dispenser itself is on a separate loop. So the dispenser runs parallel to that section. It's a stack of carts. It doesn't matter how high they are, but it does matter that they're perfectly aligned, which I typically do with some glass. Uh, so I could see the action as well as keep everything in line. <clears throat> that cart gets boosted around by Mr. Pig here and this other booster cart and goes back up and hits a glass and falls into the slot. So that's oh. important. Eventually what you might want to do is have this slope and have a flat piece. You'll need at least two inclines, probably three in the final, to get past a pressure plate here. That pressure plate might be used to indicate uh, to a system that the cart magazine is full. For now I'm not going to demonstrate that. For now I'm just going to demonstrate the purpose of the cart magazine. So, I'll hit the switch and it'll pick up a cart over there. Send it around and that cart can get reloaded as such. So if I let this run Space these cars out a little bit. So there you can see the action as this cart grabs the bottom cart in the cart magazine and then boosts it around. This is great if you want to, as in my subway, uh, pull off a cart at a go area and then replace it with a new one. So this is the structure of this is important. I have framing on the sides. These bottom two blocks are open. Uh, however, in my station, I have it in a corner so that these two sides would be supported and they won't get jarred. If you touch these, they'll they'll get put out of position. And that allows you to just recenter them in the corner. So, the other important feature that is pointed out in other videos on YouTube is that uh, a stair block is used beneath the bottom cart. And that step block allows this uh, booster cart to only snag the bottom cart. That's very important. Second, I would leave two straight pieces here uh, in my cart my subway uh, system, I drop this card out and send it on to a different location. So I would leave two here because otherwise the cart will go at an angle and sometimes has a tendency of snagging the second cart as it comes out at an angle. So those two features are important for this. Other than that, that is a cart magazine. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my other videos. I'll be releasing and updating my subway system in the next video.